Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, All About Me. In this session, I am going to tell you something about using primary key or unique key constraints in Synapse Analytics tables. Okay. Whoever has worked with RDBMS concepts, we all know that uh, we use constraints in order to ensure or enforce data integrity. But with respect to Synapse, it's not the same case. Okay, It's not suitable for ensuring integrity constraints. So when I say that, what is it intended for? It's, in, in, it's purely intended for performance. So I have a big data and I want to uh, execute results in an optimal time or I want to execute a query with uh, very less time. So it's all about uh, performance, okay. Uh, it, it's not meant for ensuring or validating data integrity. So when I say that, what uh, we can do in Synapse, we still can use primary key, unique key in Synapse tables for certain columns, but we cannot enforce it. When I say we cannot enforce it, you can just declare a column to be a primary key or unique key column, but still you can insert duplicate values to that column. It's not enforcing any rule. Uh, so uh, in SQL Server, we all know that when we have a primary key column, it uh, throws error when we insert duplicate, right? But in Synapse, it's not going to throw any error. Uh, so why do we use it um, when, when it's not uh, ensuring integrity, when it's not throwing any error on duplicates, why are we even using it? So that is just meant for optimizing the execution, query execution plan. Okay, internally it makes use of uh, primary key and unique key columns in order to speed up the execution. Okay, that is the only thing uh, it is supported for. Okay, so apart from that, uh, when I say it's not enforcing, it's our duty to enforce uh, data integrity. Before you bring data to Synapse tables, make sure you cleanse it, you clean it, you make the data uh, perfect to be inserted to Synapse because if you mention a column to be a primary key or unique key and your data has duplicates, it's going to cause some issues while we execute some query. Okay, I'll show you a demo for that purpose. Uh, but just uh, keep in mind that we can create primary key columns, but it cannot be enforced. Okay, when I say it's not enforced, it still allows duplicates. Okay, and there is no foreign key concept at all here. You cannot uh, create any column as a foreign key column. Okay, all right. So coming back to uh, Synapse portal, I have certain uh, um, query to show you. All right, I'll just run this and drop. The table that I already created. Okay, so this is the first uh, and foremost, or the simplest uh, syntax that we can make use of while we try to uh, create a table. So this table is test table with ID column mentioned as primary key and a value column of type int. Okay, so when I ran this, I uh, encountered this error. What it is telling me is enforced unique constraints are not supported. As I told you in the PowerPoint, right? We can mention a column as primary key column, but it cannot be enforced. So to create an unenforced unique key constraint, you must include not enforced syntax. Okay. So secondly, we are going to do that. We are going to create a column as primary key column and we are mentioning not enforced. Okay. Still, it's problematic. It's going to throw error. It's asking us to create the uh, column as non-clustered column. Okay. Clustered and non-clustered, it's an altogether a different uh, um, or different concepts or important concepts that we should spend whole time for that only. But here just keep in mind that while we want to create any column as primary key column, it has to uh, be not enforced and non-clustered. Okay. So what it says, clustered primary key constraints are not supported, mention it as non-clustered primary key. So the third syntax, if you see, I am mentioning ID column as primary key column and it's a non-clustered um, primary key column and it's not enforced as well. Okay, now I am going to run this. After I create it, in the ID column, if I try to insert any duplicate records, it's not going to throw me any error. Okay, ID column is a primary key column now, but still I can insert duplicate records. So here, a one is duplicated twice, right? So uh, the query got executed without any issues. So now I'll have a look at my data. See here, I have uh, two ones, one, two, one, four, one, three. Okay, 
if i want to see the duplicate uh, normally how do we identify duplicates is we will uh, we'll use a group by uh, clause and we'll count the records okay so that's what i'm doing here select id and count of that id for each number what is the count that's what i'm trying to find here if you do that here the ultimate result that we expect is what for one there are two records for two three and four there are one record so that's what we are expecting but see here for one one record for two one record for one again one record it's not grouping correctly this is the problem that we will face whenever we declare any column as a uh, primary key column or unique key column uh, still we have duplicates in the table okay so uh, for this purpose only you need to make sure you are cleansing your data properly before bringing it to uh, synapse okay this is uh, what i had for this session so whenever you are going for um, creating a primary key or uh, unique key on any of the column just keep this uh, small small things in mind okay in the next uh, um, video uh, i'll touch upon something similar to this which will be helpful for your day to day um, synapse works okay if you have any queries or if you have any experience working with this please let us know in the comment section so that it could be helpful for many thanks a lot for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel i request you to subscribe